So let's take a closer look at the SXFI Air Gamer headphones. I'm going to show you what's in the box and talk through everything there. It shows you for um, PC and Mac to use the SXFI control app and on mobile the SX, sorry the Super SXFI. I'll run through what that looks like as well. These are USB gaming Bluetooth 5 and they run through some of the, the hybrid audio, USB audio and Bluetooth 5. Best of both worlds with USB low latency audio for games and movies as well as Bluetooth and music. It's got a custom design Kevlar USB-C cable and a comfortable oversized um, perforated protein leather um, ear um, pads. Also got the SXFI battle mode. Um, it's got a patented SXI chat. And I'm going to talk about the sound quality. It's got the Commander Mic uh, 15mm Neo Dynamum drivers. So I'll talk about sound quality in a sec, and I'll show you what you actually get in the box. In case okay. you're wondering, this is the frequency response, 20 to 20,000 hertz, 32 ohms, and battery life up to 11 hours. And you've got your mic and bits and pieces there. Okay. So rather than spend hours and hours um, unboxing everything, I was going to show you what's in the box. So this is this uh, Kevlar lined cable it does feel quite uh, heavy duty um, and that's quite nice now they do have this adapter here so if one end is USB A you just connect it like so that is really good there's the commander mic which plugs in to the headphones I'll put that in and then you have the 3.5 to 3.5 audio cable if we take a look at the headphones I said these work Bluetooth or via USB as well. You can have a micro SD card in here, change the source, use the SXFI off on or the battle mode. And I'll talk about sound quality, call cool quality in a second. Um, and yeah, that's what they look like. They've got a nice cushy AirPad, heavy um, on off button here, um, USB connection in there. So what you have, nice cushion pads, really comfortable, no way of making a mistake on that, um, and fully adjustable as well. So let's talk about the sound quality and call quality. So this is running through some of the, uh, the app and how it looks and some of the features as well. So what you have, you have the ability to customize the light rings using the uh, control app. You've got, and it shows you here how it looks like, you also have the sign in, and then you can do the head mapping to use the um, actual um, SXFI sort of ultra surround stuff, stuff that they call. You probably find it easier to use someone else to help you aim the camera at your ears. You can do the EQ stuff. You've got a base, a separate base and treble slider, or you can do the actual EQ. The lighting, so you can mess around the lighting. I've changed mine to purple, as opposed to the color out of the box. So you can really mess around with that. And it's very, very straightforward. Um, headphone configuration allows you to set up these to 7.1. I'm gonna talk about the sound quality and here's all these sort of specification. So just, it was easier just to show you this quickly. Now let's talk about sound quality. So when you're using um, headphones like these, there's a lot to talk about. So first of all, um, there's just what do they just sound like if you're just using the traditional headphones and they're okay they're not breathtaking to be honest um, from what my use of these these are really designed so when you play games if you connect them to your ps5 or you connect them to your nintendo switch they are absolutely um, enhancing those gaming modes and impacts and explosions and you get you can get enormous bass out of these from a musicality point of view if you're listening to music they are they're okay they could be better um, in my honest opinion but there's a lot of other things that these do that traditional you know uh, headphones don't do first of all these obviously work usb which is the probably the preferred option but you do have bluetooth as well you have your button here. So when you turn off or on the SXFI, you can go into another mode, which is the battle mode, 
to make people not sound too far away, but, uh, but a bit, ne bit nearer. That was handy for stuff like Call of Duty. You can have locally put a micro SD card and play music from here, and you can switch from the Bluetooth to the USB. You've got the commander mic to give you what I found was good um, voice pickup, especially the USB. If you're doing it purely on Bluetooth, it's okay. It's nothing special, but USB is fine when you're trying to um, talk and stuff like that when you're playing on the games. Um, and if you look at some of the other options, other features, obviously you plug your USB here and you plug your commander mic in. Um, in terms of using them on a, you know, if you're going to use these for traditional phone calls, again, they're okay. They're nothing special. I've heard much better. But in the gaming world where you're using these to game, which is what these are specifically designed for, then these are much better. Now, as you can see, if you turn them on, you get the lights here that uh, light up. Um, can I turn on? And you see it went from green to purple. So pretty cool. And I love this sort of feature. As I said, that sort of feature is, I'll turn this off, and you've got red, are not things that um, perhaps non-gamers will like. You can turn the RGB lights off if you really want, but why would you when you can have all these, you can have multi-colors if you want to have them keep changing colors. Um, but there we go. So overall, uh, if you're playing games, you want to connect to your consoles, your Nintendo Switch. I never knew Nintendo Switch, all the time I had it, could work via USB audio. So I was very impressed and that was great. Um, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. If you've got um, any questions, let me know in the comments below. Bye for now.